Hello and welcome to uh, Good Earth. We have a uh, blog at goodearthsd.blogspot.com where you can find this video and other videos related to uh, backyard gardening and home gardening. Today we're going to focus on starting seeds indoors. How to do that? Real, real simple. Most of the stuff you can get at your local hardware store. You need a fluorescent light, you need uh, a timer so that you don't have to uh, shut the lights on and off all the time. Very, very simple to do and it's uh, got two, two plugs so you can plug two lights in. And then you can, you can set the, the, the on and off with that. Most of you have probably seen something like this before. Uh, then you need containers for your dirt. I like to use these square ones because they're easily put into these flats right here. But you can also use, uh, you know, old cups or, or, or whatever. If you, if you use uh, old plastic cups like this, don't forget to put holes in the bottom so that the water drains out. The reason why I like to use the square ones too also is that you can put them in these flats and then uh, move them. So I can take these outside, water them, let the excess water drain out, and then bring them back indoors. And uh, it gives them a really good, safe place to get a great start for your outdoor garden. Um, and then just, you know, set it up, like I said, uh, in your garage or somewhere uh, out of the way that um, you can easily maintain. Turn on the lights and, uh, and plant some seeds. And in a couple, three weeks, you get good, healthy starts to transplant into your backyard garden. So that's a tip here from Good Earth San Diego. Again, you can find out this information and more at goodearthsd.blogspot.com. Um, I encourage you all to start your seeds like this right away and uh, start gardening because it's a healthy experience for you and your family. Thanks for listening and uh, look forward to uh, hearing your comments again at goodearthsd.blogspot.com. Thanks. Bye.